If cocaine was right here and I took it, is it the person who dropped it there or my fault if I Both. took it? I think the question of fault wrong. is a wrong My one. fault. It's my fault if I take it. But See, I believe, you take it? I believe that people are responsible for their own decisions, not society. Exactly, but black communities have been redlined for centuries. So families, like families and like Wait, so men, black people are too stupid to know otherwise not take drugs? Is that your argument? I said redlined. I said I said No, that's your argument. No, your argument is that black people are too stupid and that drugs come they must no, use them. Exactly. They've been redlining <laughs> communities and then That's the drugs are being brought in into no, those communities. I, I believe, they're being overexposed to it so, and thus they're more likely all, to take it. So to your Same point. With white people. You know so many white people at Berkeley do uh, cocaine so, too, right? So to your, your point, we don't different? have enough people in prison, okay? So <laughs> they don't have enough? we Sorry. under-incarcerate rapists, under-incarcerate sexual That's offenders. Average, rape, average rapist gets three and a half years in prison. Three and a half years. Rapists should get prison to life in castration. We under-imprison people. We probably over-imprison people for some drug possession crimes. You and I could find agreement on that. Okay. Not drug dealing. And those crimes happen to fall along racial lines. So no, they don't. No, they don't. So blacks <laughs> commit more FBI crimes than white people. statistics behind both so, like, so, so I'm Hispanic too. As well. well, look, blacks commit more crimes than white people. We have to say it out loud. It's just the way it works. No. Black so my question go. is why? Blacks why? kill. Why? Because they don't have fathers in the home. And then so, how does that happen? We can't because, stop asking because, why. Right, exactly. The question, so that's a good question. First of all, it's culture. No one wants to say it. How does culture arise? Yeah, how does we, it, can't, we can't divorce. We can't divorce the so laws that we're living we, in. So how we we inserted ourselves, the federal government in the 1960s, Lyndon Baines Johnson, Great Society Act, inserted themselves in the black community primarily, tore down the homes, put up vertical housing units like Caprini, Caprini Green and others, and then we brought in massive government programs where black women married the government and separated from black men, creating this chasm where we subsidize single motherhood. Black women and women in general America lose money if they get married, and that's not right. So we subsidize single motherhood. 75% of black babies in America do not have a father, a stable father in the home. 75%. Every statistic will show if you bring fathers back in the home, crime goes down, depression goes down. Fatherhood.org, look it up. It's publicly funded. The California's government funds it. Is that statistic based on marriage, on it's, marriage rates? Well, I, I, it depends on whether it's a stable father in the home, right? So how they tabulate it, I'm not really sure. But you go to fatherhood.org. It's publicly funded by the federal government, by state governments. It's like the most nonpartisan. Yeah, just look it up. Fatherhood.org.